Hi everybody. If you want to create three-dimensional maps, you don't need some fancy, hard-to-use 3D software. You can create these with QGIS, and it's pretty easy. Here's how. You can create two kinds of 3D maps. The first kind uses the hillshade function and overlays vector data, such as roads over the terrain. The second kind overlays a satellite image over the terrain. In this video, I'll show you how to create both kinds. The first step is to define the area of interest. I'm going to use the area around Sedona in Arizona, which has some interesting geology. To find it quickly, I'll go to Google Maps and enter Sedona, Arizona in the search field. Once it appears, I'll right-click on the name to get the coordinates. Back to QGIS. First, I'll add a base map. I'll add the Google Satellite one using the HCMGIS plugin. You could also use the XYZ tiles option. Next, I need to install two plugins. The first is called Lat Lawn Tools. I've already installed it, so I'll close this window. The other is the Open Topography DEM Downloader. I'll close the plugins window now. Back in the main window, Go up to Plugins, Lat Lawn Tools, Zoom to Coordinate. This puts a coordinate field below the Layers panel. Since I already copied the coordinates from Google Maps, I'll click in the field and paste, then press Return. The map canvas will zoom to the location and you'll see a red marker. Zoom in or out to capture the area you want. Click this button to remove the marker. This is a really fast and easy way to find a specific location in QGIS. I'm going to use this image for my overlay, and I want to get the highest possible resolution for it, so I'll export it as a GeoTIFF. To do this, go to New Print Layout and click Add to Map and load the image. I'll go to Export as Image and name the file. In the Export Options window, click the Generate World File button, set the horizontal resolution to 8192 pixels. This matches the highest resolution you can get from directly saving a Google Earth image. Then Save. Add your new file, then turn off or delete the base map layer. Now I'll open the Open Topo Downloader window. I'll select a 30 meter SRTM file and set the extent to Use Current Map Canvas, then pick a location to save the file and click Run. After a few seconds, the DEM will appear. Click Close. Now I'll change the CRS. The 3D view won't work unless you set a CRS, so I'll use the Arizona Central State Plane. Next, I'll run the Hillshade procedure. I'll select the DEM layer and go to Raster Analysis Hillshade and set the Z factor to 0 .00004. Once it's done, I'll apply my usual settings to lighten it and reduce the contrast. That's much better. For the first version, I want to add some vector data. I'll add some road layers from the Arizona GIS website, and I'll make the roads black. Now for the fun part. Go to View, New 3D View. The 3D window will appear. Make it as big as you can. It will try to dock itself. You can do that if you want. It helps to have a big monitor. Click on the Options icon, the little wrench, and select Configure. Click on the Terrain tab, and set Type to DEM, 
and elevation to your original DEM layer. I usually increase the vertical scale to enhance the 3D effect. Here I've set it to 2. Click OK. If the window looks empty, zoom in or out a bit using the scroll wheel on your mouse to see the map. It won't look like anything has changed, but the map is now a 3D object. To tilt and rotate it, hold down the Shift key and move the image by left-clicking your mouse and moving it around. Move it around until you're happy with it. You can also zoom in or out. And there's my Hillshade version of a 3D map. I'll show you how to save it with the next version. For this version, I'm going to drape the image we saved earlier over the 3D terrain. First, I'll turn off the vector layers and turn the image layer on. You can combine raster and vector layers if you want. Now we can create the 3D view. I'll go to View, New 3D Map View. I'll bring up the Configure menu and set it as before, then click OK. Like before, I'll hold down the Shift key and move the image around until I like it. You can see some white gaps in the image. To fix this, go back to Configure and set the skirt height to about 200. That looks good. Now I'll export this. If you just need a small image, the 3D window has a button called Save Image As. This brings up a regular save dialog where you name the file. There are no options with this, so the image you get will be 72 ppi, which is pretty low. Here's how to get a high resolution image. When your map is ready, leave the 3D window open but move it out of the way, and go to Project New Print Layout. The Print Layout window will appear. Enter a name. Click on the Add 3D Map button and draw a box. It will say Scene Not Set. Click on the Item Properties tab, then click on Copy Settings from a 3D View. Select 3D Map 1 and the image will load. Click on the Layout tab and scroll down to Export Settings. Set the desired output resolution. I'll use 300. There's not much point in exporting this as an SVG. All of the vector layers will be converted to rasters, so you won't be able to edit them in Illustrator. If there's a way around this, I haven't found it. Whatever styling you want to do to the vector data, do it in QGIS. Go to Layout, Export as Image. Enter a name and click Save. In the Options box, you get a second chance to check or change your export settings. I'll set the width to 8192 pixels. Click Save. Saving the file may take a few seconds. If you open your file in Photoshop, you'll see that it's the resolution you specified. And there's your cool high-resolution 3D image. Check out my designer's guide to creating great maps at the mapguide.net slash guide and download two free chapters. That's all for now. See you next time.